Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the U.S. markets for the uh, Friday's trading, 6th of January 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. Okay, and uh, certainly download the uh, apps from the App Store and the uh, Google Play Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, U.S. markets, and let's see exactly where they are positioned. We have NFP today, um, market moving, certainly could be... Uh, Certainly, certainly could be volatile to say the least. Now we have had the um, the the FOMC minutes out this week and uh, indicating um, less hawkish than everybody expected, and therefore the US dollar certainly has has pushed back ever since. Now let's just bring up the dollar index for you. Okay, okay. So here we go. So uh, we have the dollar index here. Okay, let's get rid of that. One second. Whilst we quickly look at a 10 year note, okay, the so 10 year note certainly has started to gain. Obviously, we have an inverse relationship with the 10 year and the uh, the US dollar index to a large extent. When this starts to rise, obviously, US dollar starts to fall. And you certainly seem to be uh, making a um, an impressive move. Whether or not this can be sustained yet is another question, especially given the fact that, like I said, you have the uh, FOMC minutes certainly coming in less uh, hawkish than expected. Uh, now, in terms of the dollar index at the moment, let's just go to the daily chart and give you an insight here. You clearly see that we are potentially topping out now, starting to break lower on the dollar index, given the fact that we've rallied quite impressively. Okay. Now, you have this unfilled gap below. You have horizontal support here as well. Now, we've certainly made a base up here. Okay. So, given, or should we say, a wall of resistance up here. Okay. And therefore, looking to potentially move lower now. So, if we can break this key previous support equals or previous resistance equals support zone here. Once this breaks, then we can certainly start to move lower on the dollar index. And move lower on the dollar index will actually send the equities moving lower as well. Okay, now obviously the uh, GBP will certainly start to strengthen versus the dollar, which it already has. The euro will start to strengthen versus the dollar, which it already has. Currently trading around the 1.0575 approach. I actually broke through 1.06. So, And obviously uh, the US uh, markets as well will certainly remain subdued to a large extent, given the fact that... Uh, They've certainly been rallying on the back of this uh, reflation theory. Okay, so again, it'll be interesting to see how the uh, American markets react to a weaker dollar, given the fact that they've been moving higher on a strengthening dollar, uh, and and the relationship between the USD JPY as well. Um, USD JPY certainly has flushed ever since the dollar index certainly put in the top, and the Fed wasn't as hawkish as everybody expected. Okay, so again, let's uh, see exactly how that plays out post uh, NFP. But in terms of equities, let's see exactly where we are in terms of equities. So. Uh, the uh, the actual Dow itself certainly looks very top heavy now, uh, no uh, higher high. Okay, ten minute chart you can see certainly rejected, uh, and really the whole onus really at present is on the lower high. Okay, so again it's all about the lower high on the Dow. Okay, we failed to uh, retest the previous high, and certainly are putting in a lower high. So, from my perspective, certainly is a bearish bias. In terms of the Nasdaq, let's just bring up the Nasdaq chart for you folks. Okay, so the daily chart of the Nasdaq still holding that key resistance. You have double top here at uh, 4970, 4980, 4990. Okay, so again, looking for double top resistance. And certainly is indicating weakness to me, especially on the uh, 60 minute chart being into resistance into that FIB 75% resistance zone, and therefore looking for risk off. Okay, let's move on to the SP 500 now. Let's just go to the S&P 500. Now, going to the daily chart, first of all, on the S&P. Now, again, we're revisiting that resistance zone. We have this key diagonal trend line resistance. We have horizontal trend line resistance. So, again, looking for a risk aversion trade to kick in. 60-minute chart, you have a bear flag formation. You have horizontal resistance here, and therefore looking for a move lower, especially given the fact that you have two unfilled gaps. You have an unfilled gap at uh, 2257 and obviously at 2238 gap. So looking at those, both those gaps, or certainly expecting both those gaps to close on the downside. So certainly the bias from a technical perspective and also a fundamental perspective, given the fact that Asian markets were lower overnight, the Shanghai, Shanghai and the Nikkei, and therefore bias certainly would be towards the lower end of the spectrum. Okay, so looking at the Russell now, the Russell as well. From my understanding, if I move to the daily chart, you can see the Russell back into resistance and certainly rejecting. You have a 60 minute bear chart here indicating a potential bear flag scenario. So you can see we flush from the highs, <clears throat> consolidate, and then obviously start to move lower, especially given the fact that again it's a lower high. 
okay 138 has been held we failed to test that 139 zone again and therefore looking for a flush lower so russell 2000 certainly into uh, or under pressure and certainly looking for a move lower from my interpretation and my understanding so looking to move down to one one three four zone okay so i think that's a good summation of us indices from my understanding and my perspective certainly looking for a move lower now you have the vix as well which is quite interesting so the vix at the moment you are looking at potential double bottom scenario on the vix given the fact that it has been flushed to new lows okay and the bottoming tail certainly expected to hold here okay so bottoming tail expected to hold we also have news with regards to trump's potential trade warfare starting to um perk its head so we have a uh, toyota overnight and nissan fighting back in terms of the potential border tax and that certainly doesn't bode well for uh, obviously uh, economic policy going forward any uncertainty any fear uh, it certainly is considered to be a risk off okay so looking for the vix certainly to pop higher given the fact that we have two unfilled gaps above on the vix okay going into a weekend lengthy weekend and therefore looking for risk aversion okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye